Hi everyone, thank you for clicking on this video. Today is my Christmas decorating kickoff. The majority of my decor either comes from a country mall, antique shop, or thrift store. But the other day I was at Walmart and I was doing my grocery shopping. So of course I had to check out their Christmas selection, see what all they had. And I actually found a new tree. It's six foot, it's called a Parsons tree. It's adorable. And I also found two beautiful stag. So if they're still available, I'll link them below in my description box for you. I wanted something more old fashioned looking. This one was $35, definitely fair price. It's six foot, so it's a nice size. And I really like this because it's nice and slender. Um, kind of reminds me of a pencil tree. It's nice and skinny. Um, it does also have a little burlap base, so that's really nice. And I also like that it has little pine cones on it. It's non-lit, but that's fine. Um, sometimes I really don't like the pre-lit trees. So I'm just gonna add some, some of my string lights to this. I'm also gonna add these ornaments to the tree. My sister-in-law picked these up for me at one of the yard sales over the summer. I think she paid around a dollar, maybe two at the most, but there's just a selection in here. There's all kind of different ones, and I'm not sure if these are actually old or if they're just made to look old, but they're so cute. I really like this one. This one almost looks like it was handmade. Um, it is starting to, the weld is starting to loosen up a little bit, but I think it's still adorable. Um, and look at some of these. They're just so, so nice. I like this one. And they also have really pretty hangers to hang them from. So that's gonna look nice. And he also has this little one. And I haven't even looked at these yet. This is the first time I'm looking at these too. This one's cute. It looks like a little strawberry. No, it looks like holly, I think. At the top, I'm not really sure what this one is. Um, and they have an ornament in here. So maybe some of you have seen ornaments like these. Are these actually old? And I also like them because they're kind of rusty. Please excuse my fingernails. I have to repaint them. I apologize. I just haven't had a chance to get to that. Um, but this one's, this one's also nice. And I'm not sure what this is. I think it's just maybe something that got thrown in there off of something else it looks like. Um, one of the stars that's on my Pitberry Garland. But I'm not going to show you all of these because there are a lot, but you'll see them once I show you my tree. But this is also cute. It looks like the little primitive star. So as you can see it, you know, looks just like that. Um, what other ones are there in here? Uh, let's see. This one. So this one here definitely does not look old. That one looks way too shiny. So maybe I'm answering my own question and these are just made to look old. But either way, it's okay. Even if they're not super old, I still think they're adorable. Um, here's a stocking, let's check out the stocking. So. Isn't that cute? I think I'll leave the red string on them for now. I can always change it later if I change my mind. If you've seen other videos of mine, some of you may have seen this quilted picture. I had taken it down for fall, but I thought it would be really nice to add this in for Christmas because it really ties in for the rustic, primitive country Christmas that I'm going for. And I just love this. I picked it up at Goodwill for just a few dollars. And I really like the aged barn wood of this frame. The swag hanging above is just something I threw together. I had these little stems. I think I got them at Hobby Lobby. I do purchase my dried florals and artificial flowers at Hobby Lobby. 
And I also think I picked this little wee swag up at Hobby Lobby. And if I remember correctly, I got it on sale for only a couple dollars. I tied this bow out of some twine or raffia, but just something simple. I didn't want anything that was gonna be too overdone. So I think this ties in nice with this picture. When I decorate, I like to utilize all of my space. And sometimes I really feel like it makes it more cozy, the more decor that I have out. Do any of you feel that way? The lamp and wreath were both thrifted. Um, I only paid a couple dollars for each of these. And this wooden box, I've had this for a long time. My husband got this box when he was a student at one of the apartments that he was living in. The previous owners or the previous runners left it there, so he acquired it. And for the longest time, we just kept it in our basement. But when I transitioned into this current decorating style, I thought I'm gonna give some new life to this very old box and start decorating with it. So this is a really nice piece to play around with. On the inside, I just added one of the gingerbread that I restyled, repurposed. Um, earlier in the year, I apologize, I think there's a little bit of a, I'm catching a little bit of a glare from that light. Let me see if I can get out of there. Okay, I think that's better. Um, I'll link that video below in my description box if you want to see how I grunged up this gingerbread. And this little light I also thrifted. I think it's so sweet. It just has a little burlap sack with a light in it. Um, and I added the little bow. And these cutting boards were also thrifted. And of course, I had to decorate this side of my dry sink too. I just placed my one milk can here. I purchased this milk can at Goodwill. I think I paid $7 for it. Some of you that follow me might remember when I shared these pantry boxes. I think those look so nice on top. Pantry boxes are wonderful to decorate with. I just love the wood. Decorating with wood is so warm and cozy and on the front of my milk jug I placed my one pitberry wreath and I hung some Indian corn in the center so you will definitely be seeing me decorate with Indian corn this Christmas I love Indian corn I always have and I plan to incorporate it this year with my Christmas decorating too. I also wanna mention, be sure to stick around till the end of this video and I'll show you how the whole room came together. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I hope you'll consider hitting that subscribe button and becoming a part of my YouTube family. This is how I decorated the top of the dry sink. I always enjoy decorating my foyer. I always like creating a warm and cozy entrance to greet my guests. These are those stag, or this is one of them. I love it, I think he's so nice. And you should have seen me trying to take these home because my husband and I had a full cart of groceries and I wasn't really planning to buy anything like this. And they're like a resin or ceramic I didn't want them to get broke. So I was carrying one in each hand um, because I didn't wanna just put them in a bag. I didn't have anything to wrap them up in, but thankfully they made it home in one piece. There was no damage done to them. So I'll definitely have to store them away very carefully after Christmas so that they don't get damaged. And I thought this looked really nice. I decorated with these pantry cakes um, around fall, I guess, maybe a little bit earlier than that. And I actually shared a video on how I made these. 
So if you're curious and you'd like to try recreating some of these pantry cakes, I will link that video below in my description box also for you. And here's some more of that Indian corn that I mentioned that I'd be decorating with. So I like that. I think it looks, I think it looks really nice. I had so much fun decorating this cradle. If you missed seeing me share this cradle, this is an eight, this is a cradle from the 1800s. I purchased it at the Crossroads Country Mall. I paid, I think it was $100. I believe they were asking $125 and I got it for $100. This cradle is in wonderful, antique condition. I thought about so many different ways to decorate this. And as I was decorating it, I really wanted the cradle to be able to shine. I didn't want to have it overly decorated because, you know, this was from a time when there was not a lot of decorating. So I just wanted to keep it really nice and simple. So I added two sprigs of my artificial pine and I used my old blizzard lantern. And I bought this earlier in the spring at a yard sale. I think I got three lanterns for $9. So this is an oil lamp and I didn't wanna um, take away from any of the originalness from this. So what I did was just put in some of the little wee itty bitty lights and they're battery operated. So I think that looks really nice. That works for me, but I really, I really like how this cradle came together. On the rocker, I added one of my afghans. I wanted the colors to tie in with the rest of the decor out here. So I chose this afghan. And I also added this pillow and it has a star with a little sprig of pit berry and it says primitive. So that ties in really nicely. Now I'll show you my Parsons tree. And here it is. I think this has such a nice shape to it and it tucks back in this area so perfectly. And this is what I was envisioning for this area. I really wanted to just have this be so nice and cozy. And I'm gonna give you a closer look at the ornaments that I decorated this with. And I'll also turn the lights off and show you what it looks like. My sister-in-law picked these ornaments up for me at a yard sale. They're really cute. I also tucked in some dried apple and orange slices. And here are those, well, this is one of those little ornaments that I showed you guys. And here's one. And then I also added some of these these little fruit ornaments. And I apologize if you can hear a noise in the background. It's my daughter's hamster. He likes to climb his cage and chew on the sides. So this is the time of evening when he gets pretty noisy. And I also added in one of the rag garlands that I made. I just really wanted this to look old-fashioned and I think I achieved the look that I was going for.
that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you'll stop back and visit me for some more Christmas decorating inspiration.